Are you sure about this? Yes, I am sure. I can't say I'm not disappointed. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. Come on, Rachel. Come on. Even if you want to hold on to widowhood as an excuse, that man left you for another woman before he died. It's a long time ago. What are you still holding on to? Let me take care of you. Emoji, with all due respect, let's focus on why I am here. I cannot and will not marry you. Hmm. Okay. Do you even know what the brotherhood is about? You told me a little about them, but I want to know more. It is not a cult, is it? Well, you see, the brotherhood is more than a cult. It is the family of elite men and women of faith and spirit. Faith and spirit? Yes, the brotherhood is the family of doyens of academics, religious leaders and political leaders that seek to explore on common pathway through the supernatural. That sounds way above me. How will I fit in? Don't worry about that. I will take you through the fundamentals. It's not as difficult as it sounds. So, how are you now different from a court? Like I told you the other time, we operate at a higher level than cults and religion. We won't ask you to drink blood or hit someone's heart, for instance. Ha! Huh. Hmm. Relax. We are more modernized. Isn't that against what our Jesus stands for? I thought it's the only way. My dear, the higher you go, the more you see. <laughs> you see, this garment I'm wearing is just a smoke screen for the real deal. If he join us, he will become so powerful that you will not need to consult me before you do your business. What are you doing? <laughs> a prophet and a babalawa at the same time? <laughs> you can call me a high-level necromancer. I am the high priest of the brotherhood. Ha! <sighs> Why do you sound surprised? Didn't you know I was not an ordinary prophet? I guess so. An ordinary prophet would not do what I did for you when your husband left you. You want to remind me of that unfortunate incident now? Come on, I never asked you to kill him. I want him incapacitated. Your words, not mine. That was in the past. Anyway, he deserved it. So when can I join this, your brotherhood? <laughs> Are you still certain that you want to join? I am. I will do anything to ensure that no member of my family is ever oppressed again. And your Jesus? Me and my Jesus will have a discussion later. All right. I will have to see them and table your application. Expect a feedback in a week's time. Thank you, Emoji. In the meantime, you know what they say about keeping your friends close and your enemies 
closer. Get to know your enemy better. Thank you. I will do that. Good. So, what do I offer you? I am fine. I have to take my leave now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Alex, good to see you again. It's been a while. Yes, it's been a while. I've been fine, thank God. Hmm. Yeah, baby. How are you today? Not seated. I still vomit very frequently. Especially in the mornings. Bele. Is there anything I can take to stop it? The vomiting? Yes. You have to be careful with what you take during this period. Hmm? You can't just take any drug. Don't worry, your body will adjust over time. Just be sure to eat immediately you have vomited. I always do, because I'm always hungry. Of course, the baby has to eat. <laughs> Mr. Alex. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming once again with your wife. Thank you. So, how have you been coping with the nausea and the mood swings? Honestly? Yes. I'm finding it really strange, especially the mood swings. It is reducing the fun in our home because you never know what we set her off. Alice, but I'm trying. I can't just control my hormones. Well, it's okay. The mood swings will become better with time. Please don't stop supporting her. She needs you by her side now more than ever. That is guaranteed. And you also have to be a rock. Mm? Always fill her with positive vibes. Oh, I am trying my best. Please continue doing that. God will complete what he has started in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, let me also add that um, she's going to require more physical intimacy than usual. Please ensure you are always there for her. All right. God will help me. Amen. <laughs> so far, so good. The fetus is growing well with no issues. Just be sure you're resting and eating well. Any. All right. Thank you so much, doctor. Thanks a lot, Doctor. I put on you. Thank Hello. you. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Belinda. How are you doing today? I'm fine, Ma. Oh, good. What are you doing this afternoon? Um, nothing for now, Ma. Good. You are coming somewhere with me today. I need to get some clothing materials. Really? Where? You will direct me. You are the fashion guru. Okay, Ma. Can I come with the children? Uh, no. You, you can, can keep, keep them, them with Dickiness. We won't stay long. Okay, Ma. Yeah. God bless you. All right, Ma. Thank Have you. Have a blessed You too, Ma. Bye. Bye, Ma.
Yeah. We have eggs. This is for you. For me. And this. For you. Why? Uh, you also need to update your wardrobe. Oh, thank you very much, Ma. I am so grateful. Thank God. I'm famished. How do you see you hungry? I am. Please, let's take a quick bite at my favorite restaurant before we go back home. Okay, ma. Good afternoon, dear. I can see you have returned to your first love. Yes, I have. I remember I used to make you read biblical stories by fire by force. I hated it then, but now I'm comforted by it. Everything will be all right, you will see. I believe. So what is the doctor saying? He says, all things being equal, I should be discharged in a couple of days. Ah, good. I have prepared the house for your arrival. Which house? Our family house. <laughs> Please, I'm not going back there. Ah, uh, you don't want to return to there. Do you have any other place to go? God will make a way. Uh, <laughs> maybe I need to remind you that you no longer have any friends of your own. At least I have you. Yes. I am the only genuine friend you have in the whole, whole world. Ha, mom. Bere is not even the problem. That house reeks of bad memories. I don't ever want to go back there. Unless you have another house. That is where we shall go. I have been staying there all alone since I returned. And my Jesus has not allowed any evil before me. No evil will befall you in Jesus' name. Amen. But can I ask you a question? I'm only yes. How far can you go to get what you want? As far as going through hell and coming back. Why did you ask? I was reading the story of Boaz and Ruth in the Bible. Ruth really went the extra mile to get what she wanted from Boaz. Yes, she had to. And she was really brave too, considering the culture and the tradition at that time. Indeed she was. That reminds me, do you have any last phone number? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> Yes, ma. Thank you, ma. Hello, beautiful. Hi, gentlemen. What can we do for you? As you can see, we are eating. Pastor, Mrs. Wright? Wow. I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was you. I'm sorry, ma. That's okay. What do you want? <sighs> I just wanted to have a word with this lady here. But... All right. Belinda, do you mind? Yes. I do mind. As you can see, the lady is not in the mood for a conversation. I see that. So sorry to disturb you, ma'am. No problem. I have to take my leave now. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what I go through almost all the time. It's not too bad. Some people are praying to be approached. The manner of men approaching is what bothers me. <laughs> Thank God you were here to save me from another hounding from a man. Mm. They won't even know I'm a mother of two. <laughs> Credit to you for looking good even after two children. Let's sit on. Hello, beautiful. What? I thought I told you. Femi. My sweet stranger, where have you been? Who is he? This is Femi, ma. Femi, this is Pastor Mrs. Wright. My very reverend Pastor Mrs. Good afternoon, ma. Thank you. Good afternoon. B. Um, I can't talk now. We're about to leave. Call me. But you stop answering my calls. I'll pick it if you call today. Promise? Oh. Bye, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Is everything all right? Yes, ma. Everything is fine. Is it Penny? Well, yes. Be careful, Belinda. As a dog returns to its vomit, so a fool repeats his story. Hello. Hello, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine. Who is this? This is Mrs. Rachel Osage, Ruth's mother. Oh, good day, Ma. This is such a surprise. Good afternoon, dear. There is something very important I would like to discuss with you, if you don't mind. At all. <laughs> I don't. I hope everything is all right. Everything will be all right. Since you came with the pastor and your husband to the hospital to see my daughter, I have had this nudge in my spirit to pray for you and your baby. I have been doing it here, but I have this nudge that I should do it for you and your baby in person. Eh? I see a storm coming, and the Lord has anointed my lips with your deliverance. Okay. I would like to speak with my husband first. So you need his consent? Yes, I need to confirm his availability. Oh, uh, he does not even have to be there. It's a woman-to-woman -woman thing. Eh. In that case, I should be available tomorrow. Okay, my daughter. How do I get to your place? <laughs> I will send you the address, ma. That would be great. How is your baby? I hope it's kicking. <laughs> the baby is fine. Thank you, Ma. Okay, see you tomorrow. All right, bye. <laughs> Hello, Sister Belinda. How are you? 
Hi. I'm Titus, a member of the Ocean Department. Brother Titus, I know you. What's all this introduction all about? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. I don't know if you have a few minutes to spare. Oh, sorry. I'm on my way to the children's department. I need to pick the kids. We're going home. Okay, maybe some other time. <laughs> you can just say what you want to say since we are both here. I hope you don't mind me asking. Are you still single? Yes. Why? Well, the thing is I've been watching you for a while now and I'm drawn to you. So I, I would like to know more about you, if that pleases you. Are you asking me out? Well, technically we are just going to be hanging out. You're not asking me out. No, I mean I like you. And I have this conviction, but it's, never mind. I, I'm sorry for disturbing you. Okay, brother Titus. Fine. You want us to hang out? Okay, let's hang out. Really? Uh, when is that going to be? It's just the hangout, so don't be under any illusion. I'll tell you the time and place. No problem. No problem. Thank you for your time. Happy Sunday. All right. <laughs> Bola, <laughs> this your baby is so handsome. Thank you. <laughs> he looks like his mother. Oh, his father. Ah, hey. I'm finer than Larry now. It's something you know. <laughs> if I hear. Ah. Anyway, it's good to encourage oneself. Mm, mm, mm. Let's say to the quarry. It looks like both of you. Is that fair? Okay. That is more of it. But I have the dominant gene. <laughs> Before Uncle, if I deliver and I realize that my baby looks like my husband, oh, Mo, you have to start following me to the labor room. Because ah. <laughs> he also has to sacrifice. Come on, Clara. Men are also trying. Happy now. My husband has not been enjoying his sleep since I entered the second trimester. <laughs> I'm either always hungry or moody. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I also experienced something similar. How did your husband manage this situation? You know, Larry is naturally impatient. But one time like that, when my mother-in-law visited, she had to cancel him. And he changed for the better. Who would ever have believed that Larry could be changing a baby's diaper? Without complaining. Are you serious? <laughs> That's amazing. If he doesn't do it, who would? I can't want myself out because I had a baby. Why do you get a house help? House help? Larry would never allow such. Huh. He is okay with our relatives coming over to help. And those ones, they don't come all the time. <laughs> that is serious. <laughs> when I marry, um, I'll make sure I wait for five good years before having any children. <laughs> if you like. Wait for 10 years, you would still have to go through the process. <laughs> Clara. <laughs> ah, happy Sunday, sisters. Same happy to Sunday, you. Sunday. Ah, Sister Vala, how's your baby doing? He's doing well to the glory Alleluia. of God, ma. Yeah. And Emiola, <laughs> I can see you took my advice seriously. That's good of you. <laughs> I bet um, I stop wearing dresses that uh, refill your protruding tummy. Headline to package where well. you will deliver saving in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And uh, I'm Amen. available if you need any cancer. <laughs> Thank you, ma. And uh, it better be a boy, yo, because you can't wait this long and give back to you again. <laughs> Excuse me. Clara, please. Thank you, ma. Male or female, this baby is of the Lord. Thank you, ma. Uh, oh, uh, uh, even twins will be better. Twins will be better. Anyway, have a lovely day. Me, I'm going for a good women meet. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Someone really needs to put this woman in check. She has a bad mouth. More like a polluted heart. I vowed not to allow her words to get to me. That is better, my dear. I don't know such people still exist in the church of God. My dear, church is a hospital. Some are dear, responding to treatment. Some are not. No that, no peace. It is serious. So. She's obviously not. See, I'm just tired of her.
<laughs> Oni, please take it easy now. Ah, this is so delicious. I don't think I've taken roasted course since five years ago. No wonder. I was so surprised when you asked for it. Mm, this pregnancy is making me to crave for all sort of food. Mm. Eat all you can. The baby needs it. Mm? You want me to be fat, right? No, I just want you and the baby to be healthy. It's a lie. You are only concerned about the baby. Eniola, you know that's not true. Of course I know. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention that Mrs. Sasage called yesterday evening. Mrs. Sasage? Yes. What's mom? Okay. How did she get your number? Oh, obviously from Ruth. Okay. What does she want? Ah, she said she's led to pray for me and the baby in person. Okay. What did you tell her? We agreed for her to come this evening. Eniola. Hmm? And you're just telling me that now. Alex, I'm sorry. I've been very forgetful lately. I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't know Ruth's mother was so spirit filled. Oh. <laughs> didn't you see her the other day? She really looks the part. It is well. Every little prayer counts. Oh. <laughs> she said it is a woman thing though. So it is okay if you won't be around. Um, we shall see. Mm. Well, my dear. Oh, girl, you want to finish the corn without I even like calling me? Corn. Ah! Mm. Just take it easy, oh. Mm, thank you. You remember my baby is inside you. Hey, you're only concerned about the baby. Hmm? Yeah, no. No, no. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm driving now. Okay, okay, I'm driving. Thank I'm you. Thank you. Thank you, Enola. This your hair is so unkempt. Once you leave this place, we will need to wash it thoroughly and moisturize it. Yes, I know. I'm even thinking of barbing it. Over my dead body, a woman's hair is her glory, and it needs to be preserved and nourished, not shaved. Even the Bible says so. Mommy, I don't agree. Pastor Wright once preached on that passage some years ago. It is open to various interpretations. When were you born? And what do you know about life? You want to be arguing scriptures with your mother. I have seen things that you can only imagine. Fine, you win. I won't bob my hair. Better. Every little thing. You will be quoting, my pastor said, my pastor said. What has the Lord revealed to you about that passage? It's okay, mommy. Is there any other thing bothering you? Honestly, I have been stressed. I am only making all the sacrifices because of you. Why didn't you even tell me when this Alex and Eola's uh, business began? I didn't know. I thought I could handle it. And see where it has landed you. No matter how many clothes a child may have, she cannot have as many rags as her mother. I am leaving. Where are you going? To pray. And, and my hair. When I get back. Ah. Mm-hmm. You want this? Oh, let me have some. Yes, 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 yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. like you're so stingy. Eh? Take this small one. Manage that one. Let me keep the one I want. If you don't manage the small one, I'll not give you the bigger one. Can you have now? Hold on. I'm going to go. Ah. Ah. Oh, take, take your biscuits. I'm not interested again. Ah, good evening, ma. Good evening. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Blessings to this house in Jesus. You're welcome, ma. Thank you. Ah, you are such a beautiful home. Good evening, ma. Good evening, my daughter. Welcome, ma. How are you? I'm very fine. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> ah, oh. What can we get you? Ah. There is wine, juice, and water. I am fine. <laughs> are you sure, ma? I am. Uh, are you staying? I thought you were going out. Me? No, I won't miss a prayer session for anything. <laughs> About the prayer, it is nothing so serious. Okay. I, I just felt I should obey the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. 
שאול פרי. Dear Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory for the seed of joy that you have planted in your daughter. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. My Jesus bless both of you and your seed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ma. We thank God. God bless you really good. Amen. Thank you, Ma. And Ma, are you sure you don't want us to offer you anything? Ah, no, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, okay, give me a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy, eyes is root, man. Oh, she's getting better. <laughs> I hope getting this place wasn't stressful. Oh, not at all. Not okay, at my all. mommy feel at home more. Oh, no problem. <laughs> you see, when you sit like this, ma? always make sure a pillow like this okay, mommy. is behind. Mommy, <laughs> I am sorry for delaying you. Oh, no problem. And, um, this is a token of our position. Ah, all this for me. Yes, yes ah. <laughs> This wine looks so expensive. Ah, How can you tell, ma? <laughs> I ran a wine cellar when I was much younger. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I should be on my way now. Ah, oh, that's oh, awesome. Ah. <laughs> hey, Thanks thank for the visitation, ma. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm. Thank you, Ma. Ah, I'm a little thirsty. Please, may I have some water? Yeah. Okay, let me uh, get you. Please. Uh, <laughs> that really looks good on you. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the water, Ma. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Ma. Thank you. Dear, who to come to bed? I'll join you soon. I just want to finish this chapter. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, please. I would like to go to Oberu the chain tomorrow. My sister sent some money for mission work that I would like to change. Okay, the Baruti mission work? Yeah, yeah. Oh, praise God. That's nice of her. Thank God. Uh, you can go with the other vehicle. I will leave for the office later in the day tomorrow. All right. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, thank you so much. to be done, has to be done now. Now? Okay. Rachel, so you have chosen violence. Yes, I have. May I ask why this could not wait till the day time? I am coming from Alex and Eniola's house. That ingress and the husband snatcher 
having a great time at the expense of my daughter. I saw joy. I saw happiness and prosperity. And I want that for my daughter and fast. I could not wait till morning. So I made my way here. I see. Anyway, you have come at the perfect time. I've received a verdict on your case from the Brotherhood. What did they say? You are him. Provided you are ready to make the necessary sacrifices within the next three months. What sacrifices? I will tell you. First, let me take you to the chamber of the secrets. Follow me. You are welcome to my home. We are spirits, commune with mankind like brothers. Now, I'm going to initiate you. I am Honorable Shuaga, the head of the Supreme Council of the Brotherhood. I was told you desire power. Do you want absolute power? Yes, I do. This will come at a cost. Are you ready to bear the cost? I am. <laughs> I please. <laughs> Three pathways lead to the supernatural. Three facets are there within which a man operates. If you want to become a recognized member of the Brotherhood, three things are required. First, must procure a white horse and retrieve the tail as your own. Secondly, you must accept the Brotherhood's master as your holy master. Third, and most importantly, you need a blood seal. And the seal is the blood of an unborn child. Do this and power like never seen before shall be yours. Are you ready to do all this? Yes, I am. <laughs> Again, I ask. Are you ready to bear all the costs listed? Yes, I am. Mm. You have three months to do the need for. Welcome back. That was just a glimpse of my world. What I just saw, was it real? <laughs> as real as day and night. 
So, am I now a cultist? You are now an enlightened mind. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to give you some chance to use. While you are still seeking what you need. The time is running fast. Thank you. Straight forth your hand. I cannot sleep. Oh, gosh. What is the problem? You are. Me? What have I done again? Uh -uh. Can't you see? See what? You were the one who used to pester me for it. Now you want me to be begging you. What are you talking about? Oh. Yes. It's been a few days since you touched me. You remember what Dr. Murayo said? I remember what she said. <sighs> but I am very tired now. Please, I will make it up to you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday, Alice. You come home tired too. What exactly do you want? I already said it. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Eh. It is not like that, right? You will not give me my right as if you are pitying me. No. I won't accept that from you. You are not even trying to be romantic. Okay, sorry. Love of my life. <laughs> Drop it, Alice. I'm serious. You've already spoiled the mood. Good night. Any now? <laughs> Any. Good afternoon, ah. madam. Good afternoon, madam. I, I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. What can I do for you? I would like to change a few dollar notes. Uh, how much? It's 2,000. Madam, uh, the exchange rate today is 580. Ah, how about madam? 600. Ah, 580, madam. I'm not trying to cheat you. That's scary. All right, no problem. And, uh... Made a choice yet? Ah, I'm sorry. Please give me item number five. Thank you. That was an interesting week. Yeah, well, I had to make sure I, I made the right order. I see you are the meticulous type. Well, I love order. Thanks so much for accepting to come. Do you know why I decided to come? No. I'm just curious. Why me? Why you? 
Yeah, I mean, you are a single eligible Christian bachelor who has a large pool of ladies to pick from the church. Why did you decide it was me, a widowed mother of two, you want to take out? It's divine orchestration. Oh, really? Explain that to me. Mm, well, you know, our God works in mysterious ways. That's what you have to say? Yes. Okay. Let me get to know you. Who are you? I'm a Christian. I'm also an engineer. And I love the Lord. I've given my life to Christ since I was 10 years old. And all my life has revolved around the church. Interesting. What's your goal in life? To live the life Jehovah wants. Your dream destination? The place God will have me go. What's your favorite color? My dear, all things bright and beautiful. All creatures, great and small, God created them all. And they are all beautiful. I have no faith rights. Where do you see yourself in the next few years? Wherever God will take me. Don't you have a dream for your engineering career? I am what I am by the grace of God. Titus, you're kidding, right? Okay. Your turn to ask questions. Right. What's the longest period of fasting that you have ever done? I don't understand. Okay, see. I believe I've been called into the ministry. So my wife has to be strong enough to support me. I usually go 21 days without tasting food. What about you? Brother Titus, are you sure you have a conviction about me being your life partner? Well, you know, it's not as if Conviction takes some processing sometimes. Brother Titus, I think you're hanging out with the wrong person. You don't even have a conviction. What, what do you mean? I am obviously not the life partner you're looking for. You like me from afar and wish I was your wife. So you invited me here to try to turn me to the ideal woman, right? Brother Titus. I'm not that person, I'm sorry. Go, please go back to God and hear clearly from him. Waiter! What are you trying to do? Pain. No, don't do that. I will take care of it. I will take care of it. Fine, then we'll see you in church on Sunday. Bye, Brother Titus. Belinda. You don't mean it. Why did you go with him in the first place? I was just curious. I had not hung out with a Christian man in a while, and I wanted to know what it would feel like. I hope you got what you wanted. Ma? I mean your little adventurous experiments. Hope it's worth it. I don't know, Ma. Belinda, sometimes you act like a teenager. You don't talk with people's emotions like that. No, it's wrong. You should have made it clear to him that you are not interested from the get-go. Oh, Ma, this man claimed he had a little conviction. Little conviction? There's nothing like that. It's either you have a conviction or not. I thought the same too. I don't know what is wrong with many of our younger brethren. They need to learn to properly hear from God before taking rash decisions. Anyway, thank you for bailing him out of his own mess. Thank God, ma. Yeah. I saw Moazo today. Really? Where? At his office. I didn't know he's a currency trader. Yeah, that's what he does. Huh, Belinda. Even though he didn't recognize me, I sense he had moved on. Belinda, have you moved on?
Hello. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. I'm here to see Dr. Murayo. Do you have a previous appointment? Yes. Dr. Murayo is in the surgery room as we speak. Oh. There is an emergency station on ground. Please sit down and wait for her. All right, thank you. Okay. How are you? Hey. You are not looking like a proper pregnant woman. Ah ah. Let me do now. <laughs> Jesus! What happened to your face? <laughs> what happened? Ah, please talk to me. <laughs> Who did this? Eh? Ah. <laughs> Who did this to you now? He did. My husband did. What? Why? What happened? It's a normal thing. Eh? I'll be fine. No, I won't allow you to go down that road. It is not normal. And you're not fine. And you see your whole face. What will answer such behavior? Hey? It all started when I was pregnant with my firstborn. Okay. I lost all appetite for sex. It was too painful for me. I couldn't satisfy my husband. And he was frustrated. Uh -huh. Remember that thing I used to do while we were in secondary school? Mm. You used to scale the fence to go for night parties. And you stopped after I scolded you, right? Not exactly. I still went once in a while. And on one of those occasions, I got myself involved with a guy and subsequently became pregnant. What? When did all this happen that I did not know? Huh. You had graduated, and only a few people knew about it. I removed it before it became conspicuous. You had an abortion? How old were you then? 15? Not exactly, I was almost 17. Anyway, that is why I am in this mess. How exactly? My past caught up with me. One of my closest friends divulged my secrets to my husband. Just because we had a fight. Oh, wow. That's despicable. <sighs> that was how my husband weaponized my past. He began to womanize, and any time I confront him, he assaults me. I'm so sorry about this. Mm -hmm. Have you reported him to the police or his parents? Ha. And make him wash my dirty linen in the public? Ah. No. Olamide, what if he kills you? Eh? Why won't the linen be visible to the public? Ah. He won't kill me. He loves me more than that. If he did not love me, he would have sent me packing. Immediately he heard what I had done. My God. Aren't you so naive? Eh? Your baby will arrive any moment from now. And he still maltreats you at this stage. Is it not better for him to send you packing than punish you this way? Olamide. 
There's no place for divorces in my family. Huh? The shame will be too much. See, let me just remain here and lay my head where I can be called the wife. Hey, I'm so surprised at what you are saying now. Fine, yes, God hates divorce. But he also commanded husbands to love their wives. Not to abuse them the way your husband is treating you. What do you think will happen if, God forbid, something happens to you? He will move on with another woman the following day. Oh, let me, you are used to be stronger than this. What happened to you? Eh? Life knocks me down. Olami D. When life knocks you down, you are supposed to get back up now. Eh? Please. This is more complicated than that. You can't understand. Don't tell me I can't understand. What your husband is doing is very wrong. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon, Amy. Mm. I was told you had an emergency situation. Hope all is well. Well, apart from the fact that I had to look a mother in the eyes and told her that her teenage daughter is dead, every other thing is fine. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's just that her death was very, very avoidable. She got pregnant while in school. She decided to abort it when her boyfriend absconded. Went to a quack doctor. Things got complicated. By the time they brought her here, she was almost gone. I tried my best, but I guess it wasn't enough. I'm sorry. I tend to hate my job on days like this. Anyway, how are you? I'm fine. I think we need to focus on your well-being today. <laughs> You're very funny. I am the doctor here, remember? I'm serious. I will come back for my next appointment. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry, I'm a professional. I can manage bad situations. Honestly, I'm fine. I'm anticipating the third trimester. Oh, great. Okay, I will write down some tests I need you to run, and then you'll come with the results during your next appointment. All right, mm? ma'am. Um, ma'am, any? Ma I hope you and your husband have remained prayerful during this period of pregnancy. Yes, we are trying our best. Please, don't let the fire on that altar go down for whatever reason. Mm. All right, ma. It won't. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, ma. Bye. Regards to your husband. All right, ma. has been happening since this lady has been staying in the mission house. Ah! And she still got the nerve to be asking for money. Honestly, sometimes I feel for her. Other times, I feel she's her own worst enemy. Hmm. Now, Edia, what do you think we need to do apart from praying? Well, Having been closer to her over the last few months, I think the time has come for her to hear the truth once and for all. Okay. Okay. Just a moment. Hello? Okay. Um, is Sister Belinda still there? 
Tell her to call me immediately, please. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma. You're welcome. Good you. afternoon, Belinda. Please sit. Thank you, sir. Uh, how are you doing today? God has been faithful. Um, my wife told me you asked for money. For what exactly? Sir, remember the Gary Depot business I proposed some months ago? I need to purchase some equipment so I can start fully. But first, I need to pay my children's school fees. Eh, 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 wait, 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 Belinda, wait. What have you been doing with uh, the monthly allowance we've been giving you? I've been trying to sort out myself, sir. And the money we gave you to get a place recently, what did you do with it? Sir, I had to do some research on my Gary Depot business and it's cost an arm and a leg to get the right data in this part of the world. Hmm. Uh, so, the harm and the leg of your research cost millions of naira? Sir, I need to... Hey, Belinda, please stop. I don't want to lose my temper. You have not changed as much as I thought you would. Now tell me, has your experience so far taught you nothing? Yes. Life has not always been fair to you. You are single. And so what? You are a widow. But <laughs> I'm sorry. You are not the only widow that we know. Mm -hmm. But many of them are feeling better than you. Why? They have decided to take responsibility for their lives. Mm -hmm. Now listen, Belinda. Your number one problem is a victim mentality. Mm. You have been so used to playing the victim that you have lost all sense of your personal and social responsibilities. You always want somebody to do something for you. Why nobody holds you accountable? See, that stops today. Uh, I'm sorry I'm, I'm, I'm sounding ash, but I must tell you the truth. There is no better way to express myself. Yeah, please continue. Oh. Belinda. Ma? In the last few months, I took you as my sister and friend. I've seen through you, and I know that you are a bundle of talents waiting to explode. But like my husband has said, you need to start taking up responsibility for your life. The victim mentality he mentioned is the reason you find it difficult to move on from men like Femi and Mwazu. I know, Ma. I'm sorry. I've been trying, but it just hasn't been working out. I need help. <laughs> Another problem you have is that you think you will get better even moving with a man and a new place without fixing your character flaws. Belinda, we can only help you go so far as human being. God is the only one that can really help you. But you have to truly and sincerely surrender her to him. Uh, see, Belinda. Giving you money has never been a problem. At all. But you have an underlying problem that needs urgent fixing. Yes. Belinda, Sir. can I please beg you in the name of the Lord to let go and let God? Will you? I will. Yes, I will. I am tired of holding on to so much. I am ready to surrender all to God. I'm tired. Oh, praise God. I, I'm going to lead you in a sinner's prayer. 
Let us pray. Now, as somebody who is just coming back to the Lord, say this prayer after me. When lustful desire springs up, be resolute in your heart, stay firm and be strong. It's just a temptation. So never mistook infatuation for love. And love for infatuation. Be resolute in your heart and trust in God. Be resolute in your heart and plant your feet in me. Sister Henny, someone is at the door. I'm coming. Okay. Your baby has Wala. How far is he asleep? He's now? already sleeping. Thank God. That boy and his Wala, eh? It's me, Clara. Mm. Clara! Mm. <laughs> this one that you're grinning from air to air. What was happening? <laughs> Clara, what's going on? <gasps> wow! wow. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Congratulations, Clara. Congratulations. Thank I'm you. happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Finally. <laughs> I'm beginning uh -huh. to think you guys were waiting for Judgment Day before doing the needful. <laughs> well, before I start, where is your baby? How He's is asleep, it? Oh, okay. He's asleep inside. Ladies, mm -hmm. that is not the end. Okay. <laughs> My visa application was also successful. Wow. We are leaving for Canada immediately after the wedding. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Clara, this is wonderful. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Congratulations, thank you. darling. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. Oh, we are all happy for you. Mm -hmm. This God is too much. So, what's next now? Um, there's something I need to do. Okay. okay. There's something I need to do. Congratulations, Clara. I am happy for you. Thank you so much, Ruth. Coming from you, it really means a lot to me. Bola, how is your baby doing? He's doing fine all to the glory of God. Eniola sends her regards, by the way. Eniola, how is she doing? She's fine. So, when are you leaving? Um. After the wedding. I hope to attend your wedding. I should be able to walk unaided by then. Amen. I even thought you would have been discharged a long time ago. My leg started swelling again. So they had to perform another procedure on the fractured bone. It is healing fast though. Hmm. I should be out of here in no time. I've even forgotten what life in the city looks like. All in good time, my sister. All in good time. Thank you. I brought a passing gift. Mm -hmm. Wow. I hope you like it. You brought me a gift. Wow. Thank you very much. I'll forever cherish this. You are welcome, Ruth. Despite our differences, you have always been someone I truly cared about. Ruth, believe me when I say I really care about you. And I want the best out of life for you. There is love in this heart of yours. You just have to let it flow. Okay? Can I pray with you? Yeah, certainly. That's good. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father for the spirit of reconciliation. My daughter, wipe away your tears and eat your food. I don't like what you are doing. Mommy, is my life still worth anything at all? You, of course. Your life is worth a thousand other lives. What sort of question is that? Clara came here today. 
she's getting married and relocating to Canada with her husband. <laughs> While I'm still here, bedridden and unable to walk. <laughs> Who have I offended? Hmm. <laughs> she gave me a gift. But is it supposed to take away my sadness and frustration? In as much as I'm happy for Clara, I am tired of my own life. I am tired, mommy. My daughter, wipe away your tears. Eh? I eat your food. My Jesus will not make you hopeless. Your breakthrough is on the way. Is it not better to be dead and just rest? Shut up! My Jesus will not allow you to die now. I will not bury my own child. Relax and stop talking nonsense. Eat your food. This is appropriate. Take me through the next phase. I, I want to hurt that, that girl so badly. Careful, Rachel. So you do not end up hurting yourself. Let me worry about that. Your life. Your choice. Anyway. You can start by rubbing the cow rebound I gave to you. Around her shoulder three times. When you are able to do that, hmm. <laughs> she will begin to feel the heat of the war. Meaning I have to see her again? Yes, of course. Or do you know any other way to do that? No problem. Thank you. The off tail. <laughs> It's your turn. Have it. Whenever you are coming here, you come along with it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hmm. Thank you. Richard. You know I'm always here. Anytime you need me. All right, not now. Later. In the name of Jesus, Lord, mercy for sin, deliver. In the name of Jesus, Lord, the word says that it has begun a good work in us to perfect it. Perfect that which you have started. In the name of Jesus, Lord, perfect that which you have started in this family. In the name of Jesus, let's tell the Lord to destroy every attack from the pit of hell against our family. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, we pray you destroy every, every attack from the pit of hell against this home. In the name of Jesus, we stand upon the rock of ages and we stand against every devices of the enemy against this family. In the name of Jesus, we declare they shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus, your word says you disappoint the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Every craftiness of the wicked we destroy in the name of Jesus. We destroy in the name of Jesus. We destroy in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray your mercy will speak for us. Father, we pray for open door in our business and career. Only you are sleeping now. Father, Jesus. we pray in Father, the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, we pray for open door. Amen. Open door in our business, in our career, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray. Lord, we pray. 
God against every flood from the pit of hell against his family in the name of Jesus we destroy them in the name of Jesus a fair trial but it needs a lot of work okay um, your market size is not well defined with regards to opportunities um, it was clearer to me when you vocalized it um, okay ma I'll work on it yeah, then your arrow eye. Hmm. Have you ever done any business of your own? No, this is my first time. Wow. You need guidance. You need a mentor. Um, do you still remember Sister Eniona, bro, Alice's wife? Very well, ma. Yeah. You know, she builds a home in the interior decoration from the scratch. And now it has become an empire. She should be a very good option to guide you in your business plan. Oh, great. I'll contact her today, ma. I think the best thing to do is to go and see her at home. I will inform her ahead that you are coming. Okay, ma, can I go and see her now? Why not? The earlier, the better. Do you know her place? No, ma. Okay. I will forward our address to you. Okay, ma. Uh, I think that will be better. Thank you, ma. Thank you very God much. God bless ma. you. Amen, ma. Have a great day. Hello, ma. Oh, the baby is kicking just fine. I'm good, though. Yes, I'm there. Oh, I've stopped going to work. Oh. Mm. Oh, really? <laughs> I will be glad to. <laughs> All right, ma. <sighs> eh. <laughs> Okay, oh, no problem. <laughs> Have a great day ahead. Mm. <laughs> okay, oh, thank you. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Good afternoon, ma. Ah, my daughter. Good afternoon. It's so good to see you. Ah, this is a surprise. Oh. All is well. <laughs> hmm. All will be well. Ah, certainly. It's just that your friend had a relapse. She's recovering now from another surgery. Honestly, I am tired. How much can a widow bear? I have no husband and no sponsor. Now my only daughter is bedridden. Ah, this life is so unfair. Ah. Oh, mommy, mommy. It's okay, Mama. Uh, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Baby, so we'll be all right. Amen. God has said it, and He will do it. Eh? Maybe we may endure for a night, but joy will surely come in the morning. Okay. Mommy, this is not how the story will end. Oh, Please thank you so calm. much, Eniola. Since the first time I met you, I have known that you are special. You are such a nice girl. Mm -hmm. 
May my Jesus bless you. Amen. May he make you fruitful. Amen. He will fight all your battles. He will contend with those who contend Amen. with you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. Thank yes, you. Yes, my oh, sister. Pardon my manners. What should I offer you? Ah, no, I'm fine. Oh, let me give you something I to drink. I am fine. Don't worry. <laughs> I will be all right. I, I just need solace. It, it is well. It is. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Who is it? It's me, Belinda. Ah, oh, Sister Belinda. Sister Amy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me at such a short notice. Come on, what are sisters for? The pastor, Mrs. told me that you have a draft of your proposal with you. Yes, it's here. Would you like to see it now? Of course. Wow, this is nice. You can have your seat. Thank you, ma. <laughs> good afternoon, ma. Oh, good afternoon. Uh, mommy, this is Sister Belinda from our church. Ah, so I want to quickly attend to her. No problem. <laughs> Thank you, ma. So, Sister Belinda, run me through your idea. Okay, it's about um, Gary distribution and availability in and around this mega city. Okay. So I intend to just show you some of the things I've pinned down here. Okay. Eniola. Ma. Ah, I think I'll be leaving now uh -huh. because I need to be with my daughter. Oh, mommy, I'm so sorry. No problem. God will perfect everything. Amen. Thank Say you. me well to your husband. All right, ma. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, ma. Bye bye. All right, bye. Yes, ma. You have my full attention now. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. If you don't mind me asking, who was that? Oh, I forgot to mention. That's Mrs. Osage, Sister Ruth's mother. You remember Sister Ruth, right? I do. <sighs> what was it? I felt a certain unease as she walked past me. It felt like my heart skipped a bit. It really ever happens to me, but then it's probably nothing. That poor woman. <laughs> that poor woman has been through hell and eye water since Ruth's accident. She's probably just low in spirit. <laughs> it is well. So I was saying, um, I showed Pastor Mrs. my proposal. So she. How are you, Ruth? Mommy, I am not fine. What happened again? I was going through my account statement and noticed a heavy withdrawal. Mommy, what did you do with the money? Why are you asking me that question? Mommy, you are the only person that has access to my phone and to my bank account. No other person could have withdrawn the money. Have you called your bank? Maybe scammers are toying with your account. I have already done that. And there was no sign of foul play. So I know it was you. Fine. I will tell you the truth. Because my Jesus does not like liars. For all liars will go to hell. I took it. What did you do with the money? You really want to know? Yes. I took care of your enemies. What? You did what? Were you not the one who told me and you last snatched your husband? And since the day she came here, I saw that your spirit has been down. And I will not allow you to go through what I went with your father. So I went to work to set things back in order. Mommy, where did you go? Where I usually go. To get things done the way I want it. Oh my God. You went back to that evil man? Don't blaspheme. <sighs> Emoji is a prophet of the Most High. Mother, why? I told you I had made peace with God. I don't understand you. Shouldn't you be thanking me for fighting your battles? Thank you for what? For running an errand I never sent you. You are an ingrate, you know. Mommy, I thank you for trying to fight for me. 
But I don't need this battle. There is a more important battle that we need to win. No mountain is too high. Neither any valley too low. I will go to any length to get what my daughter wants. So what have you done to make me work again? You have pains in your leg, not your eyes. Are you saying you cannot see all my efforts? In case you want to know, the prophet has confirmed that you are afflicted and then your is the aggressor. Oh, my God. Mommy, what have you done? Enough to make sure Eniola leave Alex for you forever. Wait, so you are now... Wait, are you planning to kill her or her baby? Is that not what you want? But hey. afraid to admit it? Is she not the only obstacle between you and the man of your dreams? A removal from the sin is what you have always wanted. Don't be a coward. Tell me you don't want it. And I will stop it. Tell me. I thought as much. The ball is already in motion. And expect good news very soon. Mommy, you scare me. Who are you? I am that mother. Who should have used her might to prevent that parasite from getting to your Alex in the first place? <laughs> and your will not know what it are. This is not right. It is too late. As a river forgets its source, so has my heart never forgotten you. As the horse pants for water, so does my soul yearn for you. I miss you. F. Who is F? Femi. Femi, I... Femi. Oh. Sorry, Mwazo. Ahaji. I'm sorry, I thought it was someone else. Belinda. Femi, Phil? It's not like that, Ahaji. It's been a while. What can I do for you? Since when did you start calling me Ahaji? Uh-uh. Is that not the way you want me to address you? Come off it. I was angry then. I am no longer angry now. I miss you. Ah. Ah what? This is serious, so. Yes. Guess who came here today? Who? <laughs> Ruth's mother, Mrs. Osage. When did you schedule another meeting without my knowledge? I wasn't expecting her. She just showed up. She did? Yes. 
What did she want? See, see, she was lamenting about her daughter's relapse. I really feel for that woman. She looked defeated. It is well with her. Amen. Is that all you will say? What else is there to be said? I would have said we should include them in our prayers. But that is the major concern for me right now. <laughs> what about that? Our prayer life is dwindling, Annie. Can't you see? We hardly pray together the way we used to. But it is not my fault now. I'm pregnant. I'm almost always tired. Eh? Why don't you be praying, Alice? I am trying my best. But we need the power of agreement when we pray together. I'm in full agreement with you, dear. Mm? Don't worry. I only have a couple of months to go. We'll be back firing on all cylinders. Eh? Please, just keep praying for us, please. All right. Can we at least pray together tonight? Why not? <laughs> Thank God I'm still awake. All right. <sighs> what is this? Jesus. What? Amy, you are bleeding. Ah, oh, God, no. My baby, no, God. God. Bless her. Doctor, please, what, what's going on? Um, so far, so good. Your wife and baby are fine. But of course, we still need to place her under close supervision because we have not been able to ascertain the cause of the bleeding. Is she still bleeding? Well, it has reduced, but we hope it will drop drastically in the next few hours. In the meantime, we'll have to place her under full bed rest and be admitted. Ah, okay. Thank God at least she and the baby are still fine. Sincerely, we are preparing for the worst case scenario. If our sporting continues at the same rate, we may need to do the needful to save the mother and child. The baby will be born premature? Yes. But of course, let's keep monitoring our situation. Hmm? All right, doctor. Come on, bro, Alex. Cheer up. Everything will be fine. Okay? I would need you to buy some more drugs from the pharmacy. Please come with me. Okay. again. I know we've been here before, but this time I come not just with my head, but also with my broken heart. God, please save me from myself. I cannot continue like this. Your word says in Act 3 verse 19, repent now and turn to God, that your sins may be removed. And the time of refreshing may come from the Lord. God, please give me a fresh start. Have mercy upon me. Deliver me, Lord, and forgive me of all my sins. Let your love find me, Lord. Help me. 
Help me, Lord. Help me. Help me. Have mercy on me. What am I doing here? Eh? Just calm down. My time is going. Time is money. Ah. Hello, baby. How are you? What is he doing here? And what exactly are you doing here, Alana? You are talking to me like that. Yes, I'm talking to you. You are talking to me like that. Yes. Oh, my what do you think you have? Guys, please relax. Please relax. <laughs> We're in public. Please. Let me sit. I have no sense. Can you just imagine? What is this for? What is this about? What is this about? I am sure she invited you here to tell you never to bug her again. She could have said that over the phone. I have tell something you. important to tell both of you. You pregnant? Uh, uh, yeah. Stop jumping the gun! Uh, uh, let her speak! Please speak. Kaima Ganamana. No. I'm not pregnant. Okay. I'm in love. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, with who? Uh, 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 who else? With me, of course. Do you count yourself a candidate in this race? No, Femi. I'm in love with Jesus. Oh, spare me. Spare me that. What's the meaning of this? I have given my life to Christ. My soul, spirit, and body are all His. I invited you here to appreciate you for taking care of me and for being there for me. In the last five years, you two have been the most consistent and even persistent. I am grateful. But now, my life has to take a detour to a higher calling. I cannot marry you, Moazo. You have great qualities that your two wives will benefit from. But no matter how many women you marry, there will always be a new one. Femi. Yes, my love. I loved and cherished you. But what we had only gave me guilty pleasures. You are a handsome and wonderful guy that should give love another chance. But I can always get that from you. Not from me, Femi. I could have married you if you proposed to me back then. But now... I realize what you need is to know and feel the God kind of love. A love that is neither selfish nor lustful. You need to move on from your past to God. Let Jesus take care of you. <sighs> That's what I wanted to tell both of you. I am tired of your Jesus nonsense. This is not over. You will see. Karwa Bansa. Daiska Koi. I'm here to see Eniola Degoke. She's in the Antenatal Ward. Eniola Degoke? Yes. Are you related to her? No, I'm not. I'm the mother to our friend Ruth. I went to her house, but her neighbors told me she had been brought here. Oh, I see. Uh, actually, she's on bed rest now, and she won't be able to see anyone. Is she okay? Oh, yes, she's fine, thank God. <laughs> okay. I'll be back later. All right, Ma. All right. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> I have seen your hand. Let's finish the job. And the blood seal? Our baby's blood, we serve that purpose. But it is still alive. 
Then do the needful. You want me to kill the baby too? <laughs> you must pay a heavy price for that. Again? Is there ever any cheap price? Letting things go is much cheaper. <laughs> no. No. I have come too far. Name your price. Fetch the head of a python. Ha! Where do you want me to get that? Fortunately for you, I have it. You do? Please give it to me. It will cost you something. What do you want? Long we tell treasure. What are you talking about? I have waited a long time for this. <laughs> Wait, you want me and you to... If you want the egg of a python, then <laughs> come and collect it. <laughs> Alaji Mwazu, what brings you here this early? MOG, I need your help. Alaji, you look like you have not slept in this. Oh. Is it this small matter that brought you here after such a long time? Oh, MOG, I'm angry. You see, I have never been humiliated like this in my entire life. <sighs> so serious. So you mean this Belinda lady told you She's in love with Jesus. Can you imagine? Eh? What sort of thing is that? What? Alaji, don't mind all these new converts. They are almost always overzealous when their salvation is still fresh. Even you, Alaji, if you want to marry another wife, don't you marry your type? Why must it be this girl? Ah, MOG, you wouldn't understand. Whenever I see this girl, all my body will be doing me somehow. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Maybe she's not meant for you. Ha, huh. Baka Bani, MOG, Kaunani, in a son so it's love. Love? <laughs> Are you sure this girl has not used something on you? No. No. I am certain. I pursued this girl for over five years. And I spent a lot of money on her. But the best I've got from her is just a hug. Come on, hug. Eh? Hog, call it! Ah. Now the lady is telling me that she's in love with Jesus. Ah. Hmm. See, I am tired of being a, 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 a gentleman. If I don't have her, then nobody will. <laughs> okay. What do you intend to do now? Good. Good. 
uh, now, I want you to give me something that will make the girl to fall in love with me forever. That, that is what I want. She can... Uh, I've told you several times. I'm not a babalawo. Hey, but you conjure spirit, don't you? Yes, I do. Hey, what is the difference? Please do something fast. Please. Okay. Talaji, I will give you something for old time's sake. <laughs> no goody. No goody, my lie. <laughs> no goody. I must warn you, though, love cannot be forced. If she truly doesn't love you, this charm will surely fade away eventually. You know my shop? Hey, go my shop. Yes. Don't go to any place. Yo. Don't go to any other place. Uh -huh. Go straight to my shop. JB, you still remember my shop? You remember my shop, go? Akade, Akade. Akade, Akade. Enter. My boys are there. They will attend to you. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, I can, I can, I can. Bah, shake up. Bah, shake up. Bah, shake up. Here. Apply this on your eye just about the time you want to see her. Make sure. She looks you eyeball to eyeball at least for 10 seconds. Once that is done, <laughs> she's all yours. Is that all? Kagawa? If you don't apply it properly, it can boomerang in a way that will destroy your life. Do you still? Want to use it? I am Mwasu Gambo. Me, Gangari Amutumne. Nothing scares me. Ah. Note of warning. Make sure she's the one you look at immediately you apply it. Hmm. The charm will only work on the first person who stares at you for that long. Mm. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure. Um, uh, let me give you a token to appreciate you for this gift. <laughs> Not to worry. I'm only doing the Lord's work. Uh, uh, it's just to appreciate you. I insist. It's okay. Uh, uh, give me your, uh, your, your account number. <laughs> Zero two two. Thank you so much for coming, sir. It's nothing, my brother. No. Uh, as I said during the prayer, God is going to use this scary episode to glorify Himself. Amen. Amen. Please stay strong for your wife and kid. Mm. I know you are going through a tough time now. I am trying my best, sir. It's it is well. God oh, bless you. Mm -hmm. Um, Mr. Alex, you can go be with your wife now. She's still awake. All right. <laughs> I will stay back and assist you a little. Oh, oh yeah. great. All right. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, ah, such well a done, Doctor. Girl. We keep hearing a lot of good things about you. Mm. Ah. The Lord bless you. Amen. Jesus. God be praised. Thank you so much. And it's actually very nice meeting you finally. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> um, please, sir, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Um, a woman came by yesterday and she claimed to be a friend to the Adeko case. Who? Um, she says she's Mrs. Osage, Ruth's mother. 
Oh. I actually asked Alex about her and he told me you know, the full story of what transpired between both of them. Mm. I didn't know that uh, Sister Henny and uh, Mrs. Osage had become close. Mm. Well, actually something keeps bothering me since she visited. My spirit has been so uneasy and my spirit never deceives me. And considering the strange nature of Annie's condition, I feel something is not right. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much, Doctor. Yeah. We appreciate your spiritual sensitivity. Work on it. All right, sir. Mm. Thank you, Ma. God, God bless you. Thank you so Lord much. God bless you. All right. Thank you. All right. Have All a blessed right, day. Bye. The nurses. Nurse! Mommy, where were you last night? What does it matter? I wish you had not done it. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <sighs> Nurse! <laughs> has got to do with her. Hmm. It's quite strange that Eniola did not even mention it at all. Belinda told me that she met her at her place the other day. What could she have wanted with her? There is only one way to find out. Okay.
We might need to do another MRI scan again. Why? We did it before. We need to be reassured that she's not having any brain tissue damage since the accident. Hey. Like you always say, Ma, Jesus will take care of everything. Hey, sorry. Are you alright, Ma? I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. Hmm? Mommy, why did you jolt like that? Did you see a ghost? Maybe my eyes were deceiving me, but it appeared as if I saw your father. <sighs> Mommy, I need to tell you something. What is it? Eniola never snatched Alex from me. It was Alex that made this choice. What are you saying? You have gone too far, mother. Why are you talking like this? After all that we have gone through, please let it be. Mommy, I'm serious. We can still stop it. Even if I wanted to, it's too late. She's in the hospital as we speak. The deed has been done. May God forgive you for what you have done. My Jesus says my heart that I'm only fighting for my daughter, even if she does not see it. But Alex, please be calm. God is in control. Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel will not slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Bro, Alex, take courage in God's word. God is in charge. Sister Annie is coming out victoriously in the name of Jesus. Ah, Sister Annie, you are coming out victorious. Man, na, 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 shut up, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive strength from you. Concerning Sister Annie, Lord. <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? What's happening? What's going on? 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 has perched on a wrong home. And now, there's a boomerang.
Lutz, genau dich. Hey, Lutz, Lutz, Doktor! Doktor! Ja, Doktor! Hey! Lutz! Lutz! Ah, Lutz! Lutz! Ah! Hey! Hey! Madame, calm down. Please. Let's, let's attend to her, please. Just excuse us. Excuse us, please. me to do. My daughter is suddenly battling between life and death. Ah! What is wrong? What is wrong? Hey. Ah. I'm at the orthopedic hospital. Ah. Emoji, please make it fast. Ruth is all I've got. Make it fast. Hey, doctor! Doctor!
Emoji. Hello? Emoji. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. I'm already there. I don't know. I can't tell. Okay, okay. It's all right. So that. Hello, Manuka. Are you not Pastor Wright? Yes, I am. What can I do for you? Uh, don't yeah. worry, you can't do anything. You can't hey. do anything. For me. Ah, Modelo. Richard. Hey. I'm in trouble. Richard. I'm in trouble. What I'm happened? in trouble. I'm in trouble! I'm in trouble! What happened? Did you do it? Tell me what happened. First! Ruth is gone. Jesus! My daughter is dead! Jesus! My daughter is dead! Oh! I told you to let go! I told you! Boomerang! What is. What do you mean by boomerang? What is happening here? Can someone just stop? Hello, man, can you please stop? But it's not my fault. And then the, the job was supposed to be simple. But the girl has strong fortification. Uh, which job? Uh, which girl? And who gave you the job? I did. I did. Uh, uh. Uh, you did? Who were you trying to harm? Who else? Who else but the girl who snatched my daughter's husband? Hey! 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 I don't afflict people. My Jesus does not like that. Hey, woman, woman, please. Hey. Take the name of my Savior ah. and Lord ah. out of your ah. mouth. Ah. I thought you were different. Different? Well, you don't know what it means to be different. I was born in the slum. I grew up in the slum. I got married in the slum and I was born in the slum. I also thought he was going to elope with his mistress, but thanks to Emoji here. They never got there. I have done many things in this life. But my proudest moment is when I fight for my family. My daughter was just going to end the generational jeans. By, by settling down with Alex and having a beautiful home before in your last point everything. Ah, and your love was dying. My daughter was only going to fight for her rights when she had that nasty accident. And I did what I did to help her. Ah! I did what I did to Even help her. Even to take someone else's life? My daughter's life is worth more than a million lives. Ah! But now that she's dead, emoji. I have no money in of you. I have no money in of you. You killed my daughter. You killed my daughter. You killed my daughter. I will kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. You killed my daughter. You killed my daughter. You killed my daughter. At last, I have finally found love again. Come on, my lord. Come on, my lord. You are who? I beg you. I beg you. Come on, my love. I beg you, Jesus. Ah. Come on, my love. Come on. <coughs> ah. My God. Hello. You are a disgrace to the call and the faith. Mm -hmm. Such clergymen like you are the ones frustrating the hard work of good men of God yes. with your treachery and wickedness. Ah! Dear, yeah. we need to go to the Adigo Krishna.
me? <laughs> wow, what are you doing here? I am actually a member of the groom's church. I decided to go back to church after our last conversation. I am now born again. Wow, good for you, Femi. How has life been with you? Good. Congratulations. I saw you on the TV the day you won the grant on the agri show. I'm so happy. Thank you very much, Femi. Let's enter church before so the hymn starts. I'm very sorry for the other times. You know, uh, uh, Pastor has spoken sense into my head. It won't happen again. It's also a mommy. We learn every day. Thank God my daughter and I are we are breathing well. I need to know what I'm getting myself into. Alex! It is true. Imagine if I was the one with your kind of body count. I have no body count! I am sorry! There's more to this matter than you are telling me. Sir, I prefer to wait outside, sir. <laughs> because of uh, Alex? See, you are done with him. What is this? Jesus. What? I mean, you are bleeding. <laughs> Hallelujah. Baby, baby. Let's go to church. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. happy. Thank God. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> So never miss to infatuation for love and love for infatuation. Be resolute in your heart and trust in God. Be resolute in your heart and plant your feet in me. My angel, my angel, you are my precious. Oh, my. 